Hey guys, it's Thomas here. Today I want to show you the Peak Design Everyday Backpack 20 liter. I've had this bag since about Christmas. Well, since Christmas, because I got it for Christmas. So it's been my everyday bag, both for just going out and doing whatever, as well as my main photography bag. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that I like and some of the things that I don't to helpfully inform you in your purchasing decision making. So the first thing to know about this bag is that it comes in the 20 and the 30 liter versions. I have the 20 liter. For me, being a small ish person I'm only about 5'7 the 30 liter was going to be a little bit too big not because it wouldn't fit on me but because what I would inevitably end up doing is jamming so much stuff into it that it weighed so much I wish I didn't have it so I went with the 20 liter kept it small compact so that I, I didn't have the option to overburden myself something that I was concerned about initially was this top flap here where it was just gonna be like, ooh, easy to open and someone could come up behind me and like sneak in and take my stuff. No, that can't happen. In fact, there is a magnetic system here that works so it magnetically seals just like lightly so it's not gonna flop around. And then also obviously there's the full on latch. Now the latching system is actually fairly robust and requires a fair bit of like, pulling, as you can see from my facial expression, to actually open and close it. So when I'm wearing the bag and someone comes and pulls on this, I actually get a, like a bit of a jolt back. So you'll definitely know if someone's trying to get into your bag. So that's not an issue. Um, security is not a problem in that sense. So I was really happy about that because that was something I was a bit worried about. In addition, this top area here, it, you know, expands like this and then this sort of comes over so it grows with you depending on how much stuff you need to put in it. I usually try and keep it nice and closed like this because I think it looks better. If I'm out and about and I need to put my camera away and get it out, like sometimes I'll go hiking and I'll need both hands to climb up a hill or hold onto a branch or do something. I want to put my camera away but I don't want to have to completely put it away so it's hard to get out again, I will use this top space here and just sort of plunk it in, close it up, know it's fine, and then I can easily pull it in and out. When I'm not sort of out and about grab and go like that and I need to put it away, I actually will store it in this side pocket here. And I actually put it down here at the bottom so that it keeps the weight sort of low on my back. Um, and that fits my Sony a7 III with the, what is it, 24 to 70 GM lens on it will fit in the bottom here just fine. So that takes me on to the next thing I like about this bag and that's its internal customization. So you actually get three of these interior things. I have two of them right now, three. I, I just, you need a lot of little things to use three of them. So these are actually super great because they flip up like this. See how that, so you can sort of compartmentalize things better. They are Velcro. You can take them on and off, put them where you need to put them, super. On each side of the flappy flaps, you have, let me see if I can show you. You get this one pocket here that is just sort of a, open, it's got a magnet here to close it, and then down here there's a zipper pocket, and that's the same on both sides. So you can store whatever little bits and pieces you need to store in there, and it's super easy. You wouldn't know from looking at it, but there is actually a pocket here. There's a little magnet. I don't really know what this is intended to be for. Maybe you're supposed to put like filters in it or something, but I use it to store a reusable bag that I use when I go to the grocery store. It just slips in there nicely, it fits perfectly, the magnet keeps it nice and secure, and then I can actually reach back and grab it out when I'm at the grocery store and have my bag. Another useful function on this bag are all of these little hooks. I don't know if you can see that. There's a hook there. There's actually hooks that come out of here. There's a hook up here. And then there are additional hooks on the bottom here. So there's actually a system that comes with it of sort of, I don't know, things that you can run across it. So if you needed to say store like a blanket here, you could run one of the sort of belts from here to here and like that, make an X pattern and then keep it on like that or on the side. Something that I really love about this bag is the magnets to keep the shoulder straps in place. Do you see that? They're not falling. So they either go crisscross like that or you can have them properly. And there are magnets 
to hold them there so that they're not flopping around everywhere when your bag is on the floor and you pick it up and it, the shoulder strap falls out and gets caught on something and you're like, oh, it's stuck. No, the magnets keep them in place. It's great, I love it. Uh, in addition on the back there, you do have the sort of pass-through compartment so that you can put this on a piece of luggage and tow it around, so that's really super. There's a top handle, nice and sturdy, and then you get handles on both sides as well. So no matter where you're pulling it from, you've got somewhere to grab it. The bottom is a waterproof material that wipes clean really easily. That's super, I don't worry about putting it in on dirt or whatever if I'm out and doing stuff, it's not a problem. At the back here is the laptop compartment. Now it's actually made so you can sort of have a spot for a laptop and a tablet. It's got two compartments in there that are just fine for that. Um, I routinely put a 13 inch laptop, not a MacBook, but a laptop in there. Also in that top pocket is another little spot, a little cubby where you can put stuff. I put my sort of quick access stuff in there because it's just one zipper. There's also a pocket in the top here, you can't really see that, right there, there you go, that you can put stuff in. It's not super big, I keep a wallet, uh, lip balm, and keys usually in there when I'm out and about, and it's got a magnet clasp as well, just to keep it tightly closed. It's really super. These side pockets are not very big. Not only are they not very big, but if you did want to use it, you almost it almost has to, take over interior space. Like if I wanted to put a water bottle in there, I really have to like push into the interior of the bag, taking up interior space. So I don't actually use the side pockets for water bottles or putting um, a tripod or anything. You could get a tripod in, just maybe like slip two of the three legs in and that would be fine. But a full, I think a full one would be pushing it. They are magnetically closed, so that's great. They kind of snap closed. And inside one, you get one of the peak designs Peak Design, those things. Um, you could put your keys on that or whatever you wanted to do, or you could actually take it out and put it somewhere else if you wanted. I've just left it there and haven't done much with it. And on the other side, I have alcohol spray, hand sanitizer. So the Peak Design Everyday Backpack comes in 20 liters and 30 liters, and it comes in four different colors. Charcoal, ash, black and midnight, which is a dark blue. Mine is the charcoal color and 20 liters. If you're interested in buying one of these bags, check out the links below. They are affiliate links. Um, they help support me in the channel. So check that out if you're into it. And let me know what you think in the comments about this bag. If you have one, if you want one, if you have any questions. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you learned something or you liked the video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to leave me a comment, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.